Hey there everyone, what is going on? It's me, Team Murray, back with another video, but this time I'm going to discuss the greatest tag team in wrestling history, and they are the Dolly Boys. I miss those days back in the early WF, WF, when they used to say d to the tables, and also they say 3D. But the real reason I want to make this video is about this awesome article in today's paper. So I'm going to read it to you. Then you give me your opinions, your thoughts, and all that great jazz. So here it goes, everyone. Hopefully, everyone enjoyed this awesome video. Okay. The contracts of men who argued made up the greatest tag team in wrestling history will expire next week. And the Dullies boys could be coming back to the WWE. That'd be awesome news. What do you think, wrestling fans? Devon TNA contract ends on Tuesday. And that will terminate his relationship with TNA. Bubba Ray also will be done with this contract on Tuesday, but he will honor date through the Bound for Glory pay-per-view in October. The Dolly will be quite on their Dolly's front but there are no excuses for not bringing them back. No shit. That'd be very, very bogus and that'd be a stupid move if Dolly does not take a chance. But that's just my opinion. That's it. Opinion. Okay. Let me move forward here. The tag team division is a disaster. There are no names, brand, teams, and the Dullies could fix all their problems in one shot. By coming and winning the tag team gold, the Dullies could go on a year-long victory tour while Dully built up a few legacies, I think, a legacy team and bring back tag team matches as a major piece of its big events. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome like they did back in the day. I think that'd be a smart move. As Bubba Ray recently says in an interview, it isn't where you start, is where you finish. Do we love bring back past stars? That is damn true. Why not bring back some past stars who can make a difference and still get it done in the ring? WrestleMania 29 in East um, Rufford, Rufford, New Jersey, it's halfway between New York and Philadelphia and not too, not too far from Dollyville. WWE needs to make sure Dolly Boys leave MetLife Stadium with its tag team titles. So that is the article in today's paper. So what do you guys think about the news? I think that'd be awesome if Dolly bring back the Dolly Boys. That'd be fantastic. Now if it does happen, I think it would be a great move if they can come back sometime in 2013, the beginning of the year, around Rumble time, and they could feud with someone, um, cause them to tag team gold or something like that. I'm not too sure they'd be heel or face. I don't care. I like the, I like the Dolly Boys. I don't give a darn, you know, but I prefer to call them Dolly Boys than 3D. I know they don't call them 3D anymore because I think they broke up in TNA. I don't follow TNA, but... Um, they were awesome tag team. I think they were better in ECW, WF slash W than Teeny, but that's just my a point of view. That's it, okay? Mm -hmm. But everyone have their own opinion. That's it. 
I think that would be a smart move to bring him back. But the guy who wrote this article, I don't know if anyone heard his name, is Black Jack Brown. I'm not too sure if he has a Twitter. It don't say this in the paper. If he did, I would definitely follow him. But um, once in a while, like, like if something big happens in the paper or some, um, some like uh, contract, they talk about it. A couple of weeks ago, they discussed that Lesnar Triple H match at SummerSlam, and they had an article. So every Sunday or once in a while, they have this in Chicago sometimes. And I might do this once in Blue Moon. So give me your opinions, your thoughts. Maybe the possibility of the return of the Dolly Boys back in the V. I'd love to see that happening and help out the young um, tag team division out. I know they said in the paper uh, the tag team division is a disaster, but a couple years ago it was, but not now. It's it, it's trying to get a little better. So we'll find out if it does happen. If it, if it does happen, I'd like to see them back around Rumble time. Not now, but Rumble time because... Once they have a current contract done for TNA, I think they got to sit out for a while. I think like 90 days or 30 days, I'm not really too sure. Have a good one. And this beer, this Coors Light, is brought to you by Team Rod Rack. Please um, follow me on Twitter and hit, come, hit, hit the sub button up there. And I'm out here. And thanks for watching my videos. And don't forget, I'll be at Raw tomorrow night with my brother on Labor Day. Hopefully it's going to be a good show. I'm out of here. Have a good one. Peace out.